Well, the network society is a world where everything that can benefit from a connection will have one. We are now connecting people on masses. We've reached 7.1 billion subscriptions in mobile telephony worldwide. Uh, it's a technology that has gained so much from being interoperable and being worldwide. As we are now bringing this platform, using that coverage that we have built in those systems over time to start to connect things, we are able to build a society where a lot of things around us will be connected. And as that happens, we have before changed a person's life by connecting a person. Now the world will change as we connect everything. Well, in the network society where everything is connected, obviously mobile connections are going to play the majority or the major role. As that is happening, all is built on spectrum and global reach of spectrum and being able to use this natural resource that is actually limited. And as we do that, we understand that the use of spectrum both has to be regulated in a very smart way, but we also need to use innovation in this industry even more to make better use of every frequency that's out there. Um, it's similar to oil in the way that it is limited, uh, but it's also similar to oil in the fact that if you throw more money, more innovation, global innovation power at it, you're also able to extract pieces that were not able to use before. And I think that's also one of the fundamental ideas from going higher in spectrum, using spectrum that has not been used before as much in the global uh, venture on mobile telephony. So that's why I think there is a similarity. Uh, and I think it's the oil of the future, since the whole society will change with the network society technology, the Internet of Things, over the mobile platforms. Well, Ericsson is extremely proud and happy to have been part of ITU for many, many years. And we are excited about the development that is so much in need of both a drive on standardization, also a visionary approach where we can collaborate from both private sector and public sector to be able to create the visions of future communication, as well as then, of course, facilitating and taking care of that valuable resource that Spectrum is and that we are able to advocate our ideas and be able to align between nations. After all, telecommunications is built on interoperability. It's built on things working together on a global scale and therefore, there is no technology that has reached such big numbers and penetrated the world so much as the technologies that has been standardized in ITU.